Memorial Award. Yeah, that is if Jock Ewing is really dead. I'd like to ask Ellie Ewing Farlow to come up here and call out the winners. Miss Ellie? Excuse me a minute, I'd just like to say a few words. Who sold that son of a bitch a ticket? She wouldn't do this. I won't be long. That man has no business here. I've got as much business as anybody else in this room. Family, you get the hell off the stage. Bobby. Calm down, Bobby, please. Let him talk, let him talk. Ellie. Ellie's right, let him say what he's got to say. Maybe he'll go. I don't know whether he's jock or not, but the man sure has guts. Ladies and gentlemen, pardon me. I'm not a man used to washing laundry out in public. But there's some things that have got to be said, and they might as well get said right here. Nobody wants to listen to your lies. What I want to tell you good folks is there's no need for a Jock Ewing Memorial Award because Jock Ewing isn't dead. My face may not be familiar to you, though I've known most of you all my life, but the name's the same. That's right, I'm Jock Ewing. The hell you are! Everybody can see you're not my daddy. You're not gonna get a dime off us permanently. That man is an out-and-out -out liar. Well, April, looks like we don't have a deal after all. <laughs> Time has come to end this farce. Well, that's the first true thing you've said so far. I've offered every proof imaginable to my family. All my personal things, my letters, I've submitted to blood tests, x-rays. They even brought Punk Anderson around to check me out on what happened down in South America just before my helicopter went down. Tell them, Punk. Go on, what did you say after we talked? You told Miss Ellie, tell these folks. What I said was, you told me things that only Jock Ewing would know. That's right. OK, I've been real tolerant up to now. But they pushed me too far. So I'm just going to leave you with this. Any of you wanting to do business with Ewing Oil, the man to talk to is me. Thank you. How could you? How could you stand there when that man makes a, a mockery of your family, of our marriage? I didn't know what to do. Well, I guess there's only one reason for that. When the hell you grave robber? Keep now, boys, you. your daddy and I have business to discuss. Even Punk said he passed these tests. I didn't hear him say anything about a lie detector test. Yeah, what about that, Parmalee? What about a polygraph? Well, the thing about lie detectors is you can never be sure of them. You see? He's trying to back down already. Not the point. The point is you're afraid of the truth. Not the truth. It's just that I'm not sure a polygraph will give that to you. It's good enough for the rest of the country. Not in a court of law. They've been proven inaccurate too many times. We're not in a court of law. All right. If I take the test and pass it, will you two finally admit to the world your daddy's back? You just take the test. All right. Set it up. All right, now you listen to me. If your aim is to disrupt my family, you've achieved it. I don't know whether you're jock or not. We'll see about that. If you are, you've got to fight in your hands because I've grown to love Miss Ellie too much to give her up now. That's fair enough. But if you're the liar and pretender that many of us think you are, you better look for a cemetery plot because I'll track you down wherever you are. And I'll kill you.